Hi dears, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are heading to Kannur, which is located in northwest of Kerala, and we are commuting via Chennai to Mangalore Express Mail. And this is the about what we have taken in Kannur, which is sea breeze relax in Kannur, and it costs around just seven hundred per day. And then we took a auto to visit Saint Angelo Fort. And here is the instructions that are mentioned to be followed in Saint Angelo Fort. Well, before getting into the fort, I would like to tell the history of this fort. Actually, the Saint Angelo Fort, which is also known as the Kannur Fort or Kannur Kota in Malayalam, actually fort facing the Arabian Sea, situated at three kilometers from the Kannur. In 1498, during the Vasco da Gama's visit to India, the local Kathakiri king granted the land to Portuguese to build the settlement in present-day Kerala. On 23 October 1505, he gave the Portuguese leader Francisco de Almeida the permission to build the fort at site. The construction activity began the very next day on 24th October 1505 when the Goncalo Gil Barbosa, the Portuguese factor of Kannur, laid the foundation stone. The construction work activity began the very next day on 24 October 1505 when the Goncalo Bill Barbosa, the Portuguese factor of Kannur, laid the foundation stone. The construction work of the wooden fort was completed in 30 October 1505. It is the first captain of was Lorenco Britain who led a garrison of 150 Portuguese men and controlled two ships in the sea. After the fort was completed, Almeida began using the title Viceroy and in 1507, he started the construction of the stone fort in the site. Until that, it was just made in wood. In August 1505, Almeida refusing the recognition Alfonso D. Albuquerque as the new Portuguese governor to subset himself arrested him in this fortress after the having the fought the noble battle of Dio. As you can see, how many cannons are there? Actually, the fort provided naval supplies for the Portuguese conquest of Goa and the Portuguese battles against the Mamluk. 
As the local Portuguese settlement at Kannur had no sources of revenue, the fort expenses were met with funding from Goa, the seat of the Portuguese rule in India. On 15 February 1663, the Dutch captured the fort from Portuguese. They modernized the fort and built the bastions Hollandia, Zeelandia, and Prize India that are the major features of this present structure. Here you can see. Then the original Portuguese port was pulled down later. A painting of this port and finishing ferry behind it can be seen in the Rajke Museum, Amsterdam. The Dutch sold the fort to King Ali Raja of Arakal, 1772. In 1790, the British seized it and used their chief military station in Malabar until 1947, which is until the independence. The fort is in the Kannur cantonment area. It is fairly well preserved as a protected monument under the Archaeological Survey of India. The St. Angelo Fort is the most important historical monument and the popular tourist attraction. The six tourism policemen are posted here for protection duty. In 2015, thousands of cannibals weighed weighing several kilos were discovered from the fort premises. The Archaeological Survey of India, which led excavation and believes these were buried as part of military preparedness. Then we had Dates cake and followed of our lunch which costs almost 200 rupees. Okay, dudes, I'll meet you with next series. Bye-bye.